You desire truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Amen. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. God can clean you, y'all. Yeah. If you come to him, you acknowledge your sin, you know that it's wrong before God, and you ask God to clean you, Amen. he'll do just that. He will wash that sin away. Amen. He will do that because he's that kind of God. When you Amen. confess your sins to him, Amen. he'll wash it away. He said, make me to hear joy and gladness. That meant he was sorry for what he done, y'all. Some people are not sorry for what they do. They sorry if they get caught. But they're not, they, really don't, they really don't feel no, no remorse. Mm -hmm. They don't feel no shame. They don't feel no guilt. They just like, I did it because you was, you made, you messing with me. Because you ain't right. They don't confess to their sins. They say they did it because somebody else made them do it. David confessed his sin. He confessed it. Amen. And he was sorry about what he done. He said, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. I tell you, it affected his whole body like it's all his bones broke. He's sorry for what he done. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was me. Took that one sheep, that one wife that that man loved so much. I took her and I killed her. Sorry, Lord. That was me. Some of us, we don't get to see ourselves. But the preacher showed him himself. He shined the light on him. That's you, David. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Hide thy face. He said, Jesus said that he'll do this for us, y'all. Y'all know that? He said, if you come to confess your faults, come, come, though, come to me. Confess your faults and I'll, I'll take your sins and I'll throw them as far as the east is from the west. Amen. I throw them in a sea of forgetfulness. Uh -huh. I never Thank remember them no more. If you come to me and let me clean you, that's what God want to do. That's all He want to do. He want to clean us from that. That was the cleansing part of His confession prayer. And then it came to what a lot of us don't get to. A lot of us want God to clean us, forgive us our sins. But then we walk around and we fall into the same old things again. We fall into the same old things again. We still, did, you know, just looking out, feeling the raggedy, walking around raggedy, living a raggedy lifestyle. But he, God didn't clean you. He didn't forgive all your sins. He said, come to me. I'll be with you always. I'll never leave. I'll forsake you. But some people look at people in the church, y'all, that they have came and they gave their life to Christ. But they still living raggedy. Real bad. Amen. And that's what happened with the church, y'all. That's what happened with the church. That's why people on the outside... Look at the people on the inside. But they ain't no different. They terrible. Matter of fact, they worse. Hypocrites. No good. Lying. Cheating. No good. That's what Jesus. I mean, the, the heart, the Holy Spirit took him. Because David, y'all know he was anointed with the Holy Spirit. When the prophet went to his daddy house and pulled that all from the top of his head. And it rolled all the way down to the bottom of his feet. Amen. The spirit was taken away from King Saul. Because Saul was disobedient to God. And it was given unto David, the son of Jesse. And he said his spirit will always remain with him. Amen. Okay? Amen. David prayed the prayer to God. Create in me a clean heart. Good. And some of us right here in the church right now, we gave our lives to Christ, but we are walking around. With a heart that's so filthy. It's so filthy. It's so dirty. We don't love each other. We don't care about one another. We don't, we don't, we don't feel things that other people are going through. Our hearts hard. Bad hearts. Bad hearts. Y'all, our, our friend Troy right now in the hospital right now. Mercy Lord. With a bad heart. He about to have triple bypass surgery. On Tuesday, triple bypass surgery. Ran into the doctor's office last week. Walked in the emergency room, having a heart attack in the emergency room. I said, man, how can a person's heart get like that? And they got to have triple bypass surgery. It's too bad. They can't even put no stent in it. 
Because the arteries and stuff have hardened way up. And they long now. To where the blood can't even rush in his heart no more. And he can die if they don't bust his heart wide open right now. And do all that surgery. Put that all them things. Triple bypass surgery. Mercy to get his God. heart back together mercy, again. Mercy. Please you know what get these hearts messed up like that? That bad eating. That bad eating. Eating the wrong things. Eating the wrong things. And y'all know that God say, whatever, I mean, whatever you put in, that's what's going to come out, you know? And he said, he ain't talking about the, the, the food. He's talking about the spiritual heart. Because whatever you eat, it's going to come out. Y'all understand what I'm saying? But those spiritual things that you put, the flesh, you keep feeding that flesh, it'll make that heart bad. This music that people be listening to all the time, you understand what I'm saying? Amen. That's going to make that heart real bad. Come on, praise These God. crazy shows that people be looking at on TV all the time, that's going to make that heart real bad. This mess that you get yourself caught up in that ain't got nothing to do with you, that your friends, all your people, all your family, get any family grudges and stuff. You ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got no time for that foolishness to feed your heart. Come you gave your life to Christ. There's some things that got to be new about you. Okay? Amen. You can't keep feeding your heart that mess and think that your heart ain't going to break down. You can't keep eating all this crap, this food, processed food and stuff, all this fast food, and think that your heart ain't going to break down. It's the same spiritual. It's the same way spiritual. Amen. And David had failed his heart to where he got to the point where he could do something like that. David said, create in me a clean heart. Please, God. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Lord, renew the spirit in me. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm thrown out for doing that. Renew the right spirit in me so that I can follow you and do what you say do. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Y'all, that's so important to have the Spirit of God in you. Yes, it is. It's so important because when the Spirit of God left from Saul because of Saul's disobedience, Amen. everything went down from there. Mm. Y'all, we got to stay with the Holy Spirit in our lives, not grieving the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit can lead us and guide us the way God meant it to be. Amen? Amen. God said, I know the plans I have for you. It's for you to prosper and be in good health. It's for me, for you to be brand new, for you to be a wonderful, have a beautiful life. I know my plans for you. Prosper. Be in good health. I got plans for you. I got plans for each and every one of us, y'all. He don't mean for us to live in poverty all the time, be in poverty and all sickly all the time. God got plans for us, y'all. And he want to bless every last one of us. He said, restore in me the joy of my salvation. Uphold me with thy will and spirit. Uh-huh. That's what God said he want to do. He want to restore us, y'all. He wants to restore us. A lot of us are in church and a lot of us are depressed. A lot of us are in church and a lot of us are just oppressed. A lot of us are in church and a lot of us just hate everything about our life. No joy. No peace. No love. God said, I want to restore you. I want to restore you. Thank you, Lord. After I clean you up, it's time for restoration. Amen. And that's the point where God want to get us to, y'all. Well, we don't mind the things that God have to do to restore us. Some of these things, y'all, that David done, he, he had to suffer for for the rest of his life. He had blood, all, and his family was all messed up, all kind of stuff. But he had to deal with whatever God had to bring his way to restore me Amen. to what you need me to be. Restore me. Lord, if you got to put some turpentine on my life, Go ahead and wash it all away. Take all that mess amen, from me. Amen, Come, you got to sand me down. There is a hard sand. Go ahead and take all that stuff away. Because I want you to make me brand new, Lord. I want you to make me brand new. And that's how we have to seek God, y'all. Even when times get hard, seek God. Even when we can't see our way, seek God. Even when it seems like, even like Job said, his wife said, you need to curse God and die. All this stuff you going through, you need to curse him and die. Yeah. David told his wife, "You sound like a foolish woman." Yes, sir. Though he slay me, yeah. yeah. Yet shall I trust him. Hallelujah. Thank you. God is trying, and He wants so yeah. much yeah. to restore us. Yeah. 
We got to give it all up to him, y'all. We got to give it up to him. Restore me. Restore me. And with that restoration, y'all, to the joy of my salvation, that's your strength. The joy of your salvation is your strength. That's how you are able to stand through the midst of the storm. The joy of your salvation, that's what God said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And what I would have told you so. You are saved for a reason, y'all. This earth is not our home. We are just passing through right now. God saved your life. He sanctified you. He made you whole. And this earth is not your home. It's not your home. Thank you, Lord. It's going to me the joy of my salvation. I would like to stand up and be strengthened again. Yeah. And as I stand with the whole arm of God on, yeah. I pray mm -hmm. that you uphold me oh, yes. Yes. with your willing spirit, yeah. with your free spirit. Amen. Uphold me, Lord. Amen. Let me walk again. Let me talk again. Let me love again. Let me give again. Let me live again. That's what he want to do. He want to restore you. He want to restore you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He wants to restore you. And he's not just doing it for you. He want to use you. He want to clean you. He want to restore you. And then he wants to use you. Repeat after me. He wants to clean me. He wants to clean me. He wants to restore me. He wants to restore me. And then he wants to use you. He wants to use you. Y'all remember in the morning, I mean this morning I said, look around. Look around. Look around now. Look around now. Look around now. Amen. Look around now. Amen. You know? We did this little project earlier today, y'all, and everything was empty. Everything was empty. It was just a couple of us and everything empty. But God wants to use us, yes, okay? He, he wants to use us. Amen. He wants to use us. Amen. He wants to clean us up. He wants to restore us. Yeah. Then he wants to use us. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, Then, David said, Then, then, after you have cleaned me, after you have restored me, you know, we all want from God. We want him to do these things for us. After you clean me, and after you restore me, then this is what I'll do. This is what I will do. Because of your grace and your mercy. Yes, because sir. of your love and kindness. Yeah. Because you forgave me all of those wretched things that I've done. Ratchet, ratchet. Look around. Look around. He said, then. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways. And sinners shall be converted unto you. Because I'm teaching transgressors their ways. I'm teaching them the things that, 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 that you know, man, that, that, ain't, that ain't the right thing to do. That ain't the right thing to be doing. Amen. That ain't the right thing to be doing. I will teach transgressors thy ways. Y'all know our ways are not God's ways. Amen. Our thoughts are not God's thoughts. Yeah. I'll teach them your ways, Lord. This is your way to be, this is your way. This is how you want it to be done. WWJD, what would Jesus do? Yes, sir. This is how Jesus would do it. Jesus would look at them haters in their face Amen. and say, I forgive you. Amen. I love you. Amen. You, you good people. You all right. You ain't there yet, but you all right. You going to be all right. You all right. I'll teach them your ways then. And then when I teach them your ways and let them know your ways, sinners going to be converted. Amen. They're going to be converted. They're going to be changed. Do y'all know what? God say, when one sinner repent, uh -huh. when one sinner repent, yeah. the whole heavens rejoice. Hallelujah. There's a party in heaven. When one sinner, over 9,900 or something righteous men, it's all good for us to be all righteous, but for one sinner to come to repentance, the whole heavens rejoice. The whole, I don't know about y'all, but he said the angels, all the angels in heaven rejoice. When one sinner Come to Christ. Y'all, that should get you ready to be like, Lord, I want you to use me. I want to find a sinner. I'm looking for a sinner somewhere. Is you in sin? Is you a sinner? Do you want to be changed? What you give your life to Jesus Christ? Because look, I look at um, the angels, y'all. One angel killed 185,000 men in one night. 
One angel. Come on, preacher. 185,000 men in one night. One angel. Speak well. Angels are watching over us. Protecting us. Amen. No, they're not stars. They're not stars. Not at all. They are angelic beings. They are angelic beings. They are angels. They are for real. Stars are dust. They're dust. Angels are angels. That are real. That you got to be careful how you entertain strangers. Because you entertain angels unaware. They got beings that walk this earth right now that are angels. You don't even know if you're talking to an angel or not. Amen. And one of them killed 185,000. And these are the ones that protect me. Amen. You don't think I want to throw them a party every now and then? Amen. Huh? You don't think you, you, don't, you, you don't want to throw the angels a party? Yes, sir. You should be on your job. Save the soul. Lord, oh, Lord, bring them into repentance. Lord, I'll teach them your ways. And then they'll be converted. We should be out, y'all. I'm not, I'm not, how is it about it? You're looking for sinners. Call them our friends. Call them our family members. God want to bless you so much. He's a good God. He's a loving God. He's an awesome God. He's a perfect God. He loves you. His way is to love one another. All right, I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to hurry up. I'm in this. All right. Deliver me from black guiltiness, O oh God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, oh Lord. Amen. And the guiltiness of blood in my tongue. Do y'all hear what he said? My tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Amen. You know what that means? Amen. You're going to sing. What a mighty God. Sing, you should be in this choir stand every Sunday morning. Speak well. Singing aloud of the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be in your bed sleeping. You should be singing. Worshiping God. Amen. With a loud voice. Giving him praise. Righteousness. He deserves it. Yes, he does. Amen. If he cleaned you and restored you, oh yes, he wants to use you. Amen. He wants to use you. I sing, Lord, in my tongue. I sing aloud of thy righteousness. Oh Lord, open my lips that my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Uh -huh. God wants to restore us. He wants to restore us, though. If you ain't restored, your mouth is going to be like this. He said, open my lips. Yes, sir. Open my lips so that I can sing. Open my lips so that my mouth can show forth praise. Y'all know some people in here, they won't say amen. They ain't afraid to say Hallelujah. Because they need to be restored. Amen. They need to be restored. Amen. They need to be cleansed. They need to be restored. And he said, after you've done that, let me open my lips. That's what the word said. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Uh -huh. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Yeah. Say so. Say so. Amen. Open my lips. Amen. My mouth shall show forth our praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, or else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. Unless I will give it. You can't pay your way out of this, y'all. You can't pay your way out. You can't pay your way out. You owe that to God. You can't pay your way out. He said, I'll give a sacrifice. I'll give it to you. That ain't what you want. That ain't what you want. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou will not despise. If you're wrong, it break God's heart. If it break God's heart, it should break your heart. Amen. It should break your heart. If you in here and you tied up in sin, sin got you bound, I mean all boggled up, 
all tied up, wrapped up, and tied up in a life of sin. When you find out that sin, it should break your heart. Amen. That's what that's the sacrifice of God. When He look at you and He know that you're sorry for what you've done. You're remorseful for the way that you live your life. Uh -huh. You know that that wasn't right before God, and it breaks your heart. Man. Your sin make you cry. Oh, yes. When you look back at what you've done to God, a broken spirit and a broken, contrite heart, God look at you. Amen. He said, that's my child. That's my child. You ever seen your child, you know, sometimes you don't even give them that whooping. You know, are not as worse as you would have. Amen. Because they're really, really sorry for what they've done. Oh, I hurt you. They hurt you. I see them hurt them. And that's how God look at you, y'all. That's what God brings close to him. A broken spirit and a contrite heart. Not nobody that's all prideful. Yeah, I did it. It would. That ain't now, please, God. I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That don't please God. You know how some people say, yeah, I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong, but he's all, he's all good with it. He ain't good with it. He ain't good with your wrong. He ain't good with it. Oh, we all do wrong. He ain't good with it. He ain't good with it at all. Speak well. For those that practice in sin and iniquity, he's coming back. And he ain't going to be pleased with that. Okay? Amen. He ain't good. He said he wants your heart to be broken about the bad things that you've done. A broken spirit, God will not despise. God wants to restore you. Mm -hmm. The doors of the church are now open. Amen. If there be anybody in here that want to give your life to Christ, for God to clean you, for God to restore you.